to all of you. Today is Monday, June 8th, and in this Eucharistic celebration, we are asked to pray for Caitlin and Owen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Thank you, my friends, to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner. Let us first of all call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. If I ask the Blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray. Look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort the mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahaz, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve. During these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here, go east, and hide in the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from, from the Lord, Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help, help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, the disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you, The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. God provides to those who trust in Him. This is the central message of today's readings. In the first reading, which has been taken from the first book of Kings, we read about Prophet Elijah during the time of um, drought. God tells him, I will command the ravens to provide for you, to feed you. My friends, God provided for Prophet Elijah in that difficult time during the doubt, drought, by sending the ravens, ravens, to, uh, to ravens he provided him food and drink. Will he not provide for us when we go through difficult time? So trust in him wholeheartedly. The responsory psalm also reiterates, uh, reiterates the same message. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And in the gospel reading, you have been given for our reflection the Beatitudes from the gospel of St. Matthew. And through the Beatitudes, God reminds us that God blesses and God is close and near to those who are poor in spirit. In other words, who trust in Him. And He is near to those who mourn, those who are meek, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, those who are merciful, those who are clean of heart, those who make peace with others, those who are persecuted and uh, for righteousness and those who are falsely accused. God is near to them, the God blesses them, the God provides for them. So the message is this, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord wholeheartedly. Bring your struggles, your fear, your fears, your anxieties, and whatever you go through, to the Lord and surrender them. The more you are able to surrender your fears and anxieties and worries and burdens to the Lord, He will unburden you. So trust in Him. The more you trust in Him, you will see the wondrous hand of God, the providential hand of God guiding you and leading you even through dark moments. So let's pause for a moment. 
What is the one area of your life and my life? God is inviting you today. Jesus is inviting you today to trust Him. What is the one um, event of your life that He is inviting you to trust in your life uh, more? into our hearts spiritually when he comes into our hearts let us ask the Lord to create in, in us a deeper trust so that we may see his wondrous hand guiding us providing for us through thick and thin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Let us now lift up our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father, who is slow to anger, abounding in love. For the church throughout the world, as we share the great good news of the salvation won for us in Christ Jesus, we may become more like Christ each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For men to all lawlessness and violence in our land, and that all nations may live in justice and peace, so that the God of love and peace may rule in all the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims who suffer because of anger and violence and injustice in our land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who serve us in the armed forces and all who put themselves in harm's way on our behalf, especially the first responders and healthcare personnel in the COVID pandemic, and for the needs we now remember in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Caitlin and Owen and for her family members, that God may provide for them and heal them and strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. We thank you for the many, many blessings you have bestowed upon. All of us, we, your children, have placed our prayers and petitions before you, and it is pleasing to you, grant them all. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we will this bread to offer, which at this given and human hands so have made to become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Bless the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we will this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine work of human hands. The good of our spiritual doing. Blessed Bless be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of his holy church. Accept, O oh Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ 
Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. I will do in our salvation always and every way to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into this passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was the end, and he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be added into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, in the church, spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. To Elder Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, plus with those of his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to go age to eternal life and be praised and glorified you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To remember and command unto him, O God Almighty and Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed with divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
our latest Bible interpretation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Questions, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory be yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said in the apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O oh God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing and delight. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us through this video mass. We continue to pray for you all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join me now. In the prayer to Saint Michael, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the good of souls. Amen.